Hey, listen to the Better Cookout Podcast, episode 403. I'm Brando. I'm here with Brian, and we're going to continue our journey through Ixalan by taking you into the Fire Temple. Now, hit our theme song! Hey, Ryan. We're back for yet another whirlwind adventure. How you doing? Good. What is going down? Whole bunch is going down. We're continuing our journey through Ixalan mm-hmm. by visiting the Goran Cave and using a bomb flower to open up a hole into a volcano so that we can travel down to have the theme song changed because it's culturally insensitive while we adventure into the fire temple. I'll pretend I know what that means. That's a Ocarina of Time reference. Oh. Lots of people are gonna get that one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. There were some complaints about the music, which is too bad because it was a great song. Anyway, we're not gonna get into that right now. We're a Magic the Gathering podcast. That's not a story we're gonna tell or a person we're gonna thank. But we are gonna do those things, <laughs> and then we'll get to the deck. But before we do any of that stuff, we have to thank our official business daddies, FusionGamingOnline.com, your source for all your gaming needs. And the second best thing to come out of Regina, Pile of Bones Brewery, the sponsor of this year's season of CCO Sidewalk Slam. Oh, very much so. Excellent beer. Link to them is in the show notes below. If you're watching on YouTube, you can find it there. You should be! (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) And, of course, the business daddies, FusionGamingOnline.com. You can go there. CCO Summer is going to get you a discount on the cards that we're going to suggest for this deck today and their cards you're gonna want because oh, very much reasons so. very much so so let's let's quickly read the commander we're gonna go right into it we're, right we're gonna read the commander then we got a little tiny bit of podcast business okay commander I, I get let me try let me try okay you're gonna try it and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna also do like the uh the Spanish kind of um I looked up and did a little bit of research on Ooh. how I think this guy's name should be said okay okay, okay this will be neat it's O'Hare Axonil deepest might you know what that means when it goes deep. Red, red, two for a four, four god with trample. If a red source you control would deal an amount of non-combat damage less than its power to an opponent, that source deals damage equal to this thing's power instead. If it eats shit, you remove it from the game, bring it back into play as a land that taps for red, that also has red, two, tap, transform it back into the god. If a red source you control dealt four or more non-combat points of damage, this turn. So when it transforms back, it just cares about four or more non-combat damage this turn to frickin' anybody. Yeah. So it's it's pretty easy to oh, it, do that. Oh, it sources. Oh, that's real easy. That's, yeah, that's real easy. Nothing. So this guy lets you cheat command zone cost. Oh, man. So he'll cost four, and then he'll cost sort of four again yeah. uh, to flip him back over, right? The, yep. the land and then three others. Yep. And dealing some damage but we're gonna we're gonna solve for damage no problem yeah super oh, we want to do damage in red <laughs> oh, like, what the? You, you know what you were actually really close on the um on the pronunciation ah. O'Hare I'm not sure if it's Axanel or Achanel or Axanel or Achanel I don't know how f- quickly or slowly to say the X and the other thing is there's there's a flipped R in there. That O'Hare, it isn't a long R like R. It's O'Hare. You you flip it, it almost sounds like a D. You know what a oh, rolled yeah. R sounds like? Yeah. You roll the R one time. It's an av- aviolar R. Teach me how to do that roll R thing right now. <laughs> Lots of people can't do it. Damn it, I want to do I'm it. I'm not very good at flipping my R's, but the best example of a flipped R is... The diners, drive-ins, and dives guy. Guy Fieri is how it's spelt. Yeah. But in Italian, it's a flipped R. Fieri. It's Fieri. It yeah. almost sounds like a D. Yeah, kind of. But Oher, see, even that, O'Hare. I rolled it like two or three times. Yeah. That's too much. O'Hare. I can't I can't flip an R very good. But that's what my research has shown on how to pronounce that guy's name. This is a neat card. Yes. It's a so, neat card. If you want to pick it up, you go to Fusion, use CCO Summer promo code, CCO Perks promo code, get your discounts, money back, all that stuff on the stuff you're going to buy anyways. Yeah, and let, let me just tell you, as of recording today, if you go to Fusion right when you're listening to me, you're going to pay way less there than you are that this card is listed for right now. Oh, very cool. Yeah, you're not going to pay $52 at Fusion? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, good. We like <laughs> oh, them. Oh, yeah. We like them. And... Not not even joking, the person who submitted this deck 
just the other day when I when I put out the uh, the payments for um, CCO Experience Chicago. Right. He said, I love paying in Canadian prices. It's like getting a surprise discount. <laughs> I think I'm going to pay, you know, $100 for something. But actually, because it's Canadian, I'm only paying like forty, seventy two dollars $72 for something, <laughs> yeah. right? So no secret secrets out. Um, this deck brought to us by wonderful patron supporter. Mac, Mac three sack, Mac like to attack with red. Oh, wow. The same Mac that's going to be doing some of the extra deep dive content that we're going to be offering in January. And you may see your boy there too. You never know. Yes. Yes. Myself, Brando, Mac, whoever else is along for the ride in January, that's going to be when we're launching the, the, the closer looks at some of the stuff that, that Brando and I just don't have time to do. And Joe as well, the, uh, the editor for YouTube stuff just doesn't have time to do. So Max stepped up and we thought the least we can do is feature one of his decks or something. Yeah. 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 Even though he <laughs> did make glaring oversights and now that he's part of the team a little more, Ooh, oh baby, will I baby. be able to shit on him? We more. will poop directly onto his chest and or mouth. Yep. And there's no king shaming in the nation. So yeah, we'll give him the aviolar R, hey, right in his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Max a patron, he submitted this on our Discord patreon.com slash cco podcast if you want to go there couple bucks a month goes yeah. a long way to helping us with the new content and all the extra little things that that's gonna need yeah all the extra stuff we got going on very fun there might be yeah. trivia there might be playing guess the thing oh, there yeah. might be all kinds of things that some could cedh happening. stuff coming up so if somebody's ever watched commander cookout and been like oh my friends won't like this they only ever play cedh well Coming up in the new year, we got John Penisey. He's going to give us lessons from CEDH. It's going to be fantastic. He's working on some preview stuff as we speak. Also, get better friends. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Like, come Very on. much so. Yeah. If they don't like us, they're not good people. Yeah. Because Co- we're great. A couple final ways to support the store or support the show is commandercooko.com. There's a store there. We got merch. We got gaming supplies like dice, Brando drawn tokens. Yeah. We've got this little mini stinky onion bags for holding your CC or raw dog decks mm-hmm. or for holding dice is, is what I imagine normal people would use them for. Raw dog decks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I still got to build me a raw dog deck. I thought it was going to be the mill guy from Doctor Who. Yeah, but then he was too many dollars. Was he? Yeah. The Cyberman that mills? Yeah. Oh, frick, who should I build then? I don't know. This guy. Nah, this guy's still too many dollars. Yeah, how, who'd you build for a raw dogger? I was going to do the Dalek Emperor. But oh, yeah? Too many dollars. Frick, man. Yeah. I got an idea. I got an idea for anybody who's brave enough for a sidewalk slam this year. Okay. And I'm, I'm telling Brando this for the first time. Okay. Okay. Raw dog decks, no sleeves on the sidewalk, uh-huh. as we do on, on sidewalk slam. Right. Loser or... Non-winner, because there's only one winner, but there could be three losers. Uh-huh. Gets their deck drilled with a drill. Huh. Mm-hmm. So if you're brave enough and you want to bring a raw dog deck to the nation, we'll drill it right on the frickin' show. I'm going to have a piece of plywood. We're going to plop the deck on it with like a big spade bit, too, so there's a frickin' hole in it. That would take a long time to drill through the cards. Uh-uh. uh-uh. I'm going to get a big hammer drill. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to clamp those puppies to the table and go. There you go. So if you're brave enough, if you want to do that, of course, if you if you want to sit out, you know, you could. You could just watch. I might just win, too. You could sue. <laughs> oh, there's the Uncle Brando I wanted to show up. Right? <laughs> I might just win the game instead. <laughs> might just win the game and I'll be drilling your decks. Yeah. So, I mean. That'll be fun. People don't know the gimmick for Sidewalk Slam Season 2 yet. But I have Frick. a feeling that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm so excited. You know what? It doesn't sound as bad as I thought it was going to with our lapel mics and 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 it looks really good in the game room and it's got our faces on it now. I'm actually super excited yeah. for it to go out. I'm pumped for people to see it too. We've played a few games already recorded them and they're lots of fun and we've had some interesting humans on the show. Yeah. And this, I'm I'm pumped. This is how I know I'm excited about a piece of content. Okay. So after it's filmed, uh-huh. I go and talk to Rebecca. And I say, this sucks. Oh, why do I even do this? Everybody's going to hate it. Nobody's going to watch it. Right? All the time. Oh. All the time. Wow. This one, Sidewalk Slime Episode 1, I was like, 
It's actually pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good. So you know what? I don't hate it. There you go. And uh, m- maybe it's the opposite, and, it, and it'll actually really fucking suck. <laughs> but if I don't mind it, and I know that people out in the nation like the same stuff that I like, yeah. maybe to be good. Maybe people like got to tune in and watch. It should be this Friday or next Friday. I don't know when. Ty- Tyler just moved, hey? Oh. And there would have been a top five and five last Friday or this Friday, but he can't edit because he didn't have a computer because he had no internet. Because he moved. Man. So, freaking Tyler, eh? Yeah. What, do they not just have internet around in, um, in America? Well, he lives in kind of the not so internet y kind of parts of America. Where does he live? Like in the country, in the middle of Hickville, nowhere. Well, I thought that he lived kind of near A.A. Ron and A. Amy, and they live Not in... even freaking close. But they're always Opposite together. Opposite side of the country. What's he doing out there? I have no idea. What does anybody ever do anywhere? Why doesn't he just go somewhere that isn't there? Because he sucks. He just moved. Like, he could have moved Could have moved somewhere else. Yeah. Well. Huh. Anyways, we got Max Deck here. Right. Yes, we are going to talk about that today. O'Hare Achenil, we're doing damage. Damage. What do you, what do you want to see out of this deck? Okay, we've got two two kind of paths to victory. Right. We've got the make them big. Yep. And then do a little bit of damage. Oh no, we make them big. In every case, when you're going to play this deck, okay. he gets big. Okay, so that's the number one thing that's we're looking for is how to pump him, double his power, something like that. Make him big. You and want then, him to be as big as you can. And then deal like one damage, so it's actually eight damage. And then you just go low with your damages. Because damage is yeah. cheap. Yeah, damage doesn't cost nothing in red. Just Neither does pumping, I guess. Do eh? it. Yeah. You ever gut shot at somebody for 12? That's what O'Hare oh. Axonil lets you do. Man, can you imagine gut shot? You should be like, I'll pay two life. You guys all take freaking 10. <gasps> you know what I didn't tell you? What? I'm excited. EDH and M. Oh, no. The other day. Is this going to interrupt the episode and nope. totally cause Th- like this a disruption in th- our plan? It's causing damage. Okay. I'm going to tell you a damage story. <laughs> okay. Is it relevant to this deck? Yes. Okay. So I'm swinging in at somebody that's got 11 life. Okay. Hitting them for nine. Okay. That's not enough. No. You know what I killed them with? Mm. Stencia Blood Hall. That's a land. That's a land. You have to pay five and tap it to do two. But that two... <laughs> Was enough. Exactly. <laughs> yes. I'll exact you with my Stencia blood hole. Stencia butthole. And you you never are live a, that down. You I'm are a, a piece, piece of, of shit. shit. <laughs> yes. So that's the kind of thing that you can do with this deck. You could, except you're not going to pay six to do two. Damage. Yes. Yes. Correct. You're going to pay one. Is there? Is there? Um. Is there a Shivan Gorge in here? A Wrath's Edge? No. Those aren't red. Only red things. Oh yeah. Okay. The, there's a good distinction. So yeah. our lands aren't gonna do that. Yes. And there's there's two different ways. And Th- that means Valakut can't do it either. Correct. Even though Valakut looks very much like a red card. Oh yes. There's lots of red paint on that card. For yes. sure there is. Yes. We probably there's, still put that in the deck though, don't we? Uh, with this many mountains, I would do it. Okay. Just, yeah. New cats out of the bag. Thirty-five mountains. Yeah. Mac kind of cashed in the mana base yeah. just to get the deck submitted. <laughs> but if you got a Valakut, put it in. Put it in. Right. If you got the Explore Cave. Yep. Throw it in there. Yep. If you got a that thing that makes ooh, actually, especially if you have the thing that makes cobalts, put that in there too. Ooh. I'm not sure if zero damage costs as counts as a damage. We'll get to that. No, zero damage is, is no damage. None's damage. None damage. Like I'm taking zero damage as I sit here. But if a red source would deal zero damage, would it not deal ten damage instead? No, because zero damage is no damage. Okay. Mm, yes. Yeah. It's like colorless not being a color. Nah, that's sucky. Yeah. So if you earthquake for zero, it will still do zero. Correct. Okay, that's yes. important to know. Yes. Earthquake for one though? Pretty Four. good. Yes. Pretty good. Mm-hmm, let's mm-hmm. Uh, let's hop over to cards. Yeah. We're gonna hit some categories up real quick, like yeah. protection and mana rocks and stuff, yeah. and then we're gonna get into the hey, freaking weeds. Before we get cards, let's do the weed thing. Let's do the top down thing first while people can see us. Okay. Real quick. Okay. There's two different ways you can build this deck off the top of my head, okay. and Mac didn't do either of them, which is really cool. Ooh, hey, are we gonna mention that in the strengths and weaknesses? Yes, because eh? this guy looks like a one trick point. That's really, but he any. In a way he is, but the way you do the trick is different each time. Oh. So you could play little to the ground dudes and play things like Impact Tremors and Perforos yep. and Hell Rider and all the uh, Raid Bombardment when your dudes attack, it deals one damage to the defending player, yep. etc. right? I- I'm thinking of like um, uh, the Goblin that when you cast an instant or sorcery, he does two. The is gutter, that another one? Gutter, gutter Snipe? snipe? Yeah, that, yeah, there's and there's other Gutter Snipe effects yeah. like so that, right? You, so you could go heavy on the Gutter Snipe. 
and then instants and sorceries like lightning bolt or trash for treasure or whatever you're going to use. Yeah, yeah. And then your creatures are going to do one, 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 one. But it's going to be octopple to eight, 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 eight. Yes. Because you're going to make your dude big. Or you can use the little tiny dudes where I play Siege Gang Commander. I have four guys comes into play. I'm going to impact tre- tremors you for seven, four times. Eat mm. my shit. Then Isn't that the same thing? They are different. Because one of them is creature-based. One of them is spell-based. Okay. And if okay. you try to do both, you're going to find yourself diluting what your deck is doing, and you're not going to be good at either of those what things. What about if I did things like uh, uh, Krenko's Command and, and Dragon Fodder? They're an instant or sorcery yep. that also give me goblins. Those would work together very well. well okay. But there's okay. only two or three of those. Whereas, yeah, there's right? two or three at two, and then there's a couple at three, then a couple at four. You could yeah. kind of curve out with them, but... You could do it, but it'd that's, be... It's going to give you... Oops, sorry, microphone. It's going to give you damage output kind of in a linear... Though it is increasing a linear fashion, yeah. we want our damage to like skyrocket exponentially. Yes, which is what Mac has done here. So you're going to see a little bit more setup with a lot more payoff than either of those things that I said. And the setup is maybe making O'Hare like big yes and then that is key and then dealing big damage also yes uh i guess you wouldn't need to be deal big damage no you want to deal little damage little damage over and over and over again because that's like cheap yes okay and, and each okay. time each like if you do seven damage once and then increase it to nine that's way less good than doing one damage nine times and turning it into nine each yes, time. Yes. So I think one of the things we'll have to watch for is things that deal damage to every op- opponent. Yep. And things that replace cards back into our hand. Yes. Because if we're just going like lightning bolt, shock, uh, flame rift. Yep. Oh well, now I only have like it's turn four and I've got two cards in my hand. Yeah, and one no of them's a freaking mountain. Yeah. Right. So we're gonna have to find more cards. Or find things that deal damage to everyone. Man, we could play seismic assault in this deck. I just realized <laughs> oh. that that'd be a good one. <laughs> yes, yes, seismic assault. And what's the one where you discard a? Um, you can't draw cards. It's the aggressive mining. Aggressive mining. Can we yeah. play that one? Oh, we could do whatever we want. I suppose. Yeah. Okay, let's flip over to the cards. Yes. Let's see what we're gonna. Let's see what we're actually gonna play. Yes. Start with some rocks, I guess? Sure. That's, that's So for rocks, we have Sol Ring, Nyx Lotus, Lava Brink, Floodgates, Glistening Stockpile, Gilded Lotus, Felwar Stone, Cursed Mirror, Commander Sphere, Arcane Signet. Okay, Does do we have to read uh, Lava Brink, Floodgates, 4-drop, taps for red, red. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player may put a, a doom counter. Doom. <laughs> I forgot. I thought it was a down, down counter. A doom counter on Lava Brink, Floodgate, or remove one. Right? Yep. Then if it has three or more doom counters, sacrifice it, and it deals six damage to each creature. And you'll have to remember that that is a red source, because Lava Lava Brink Floodgate is red. So six would turn into... It only makes damage bigger when it hits your opponent. Oh, frick. I think that Mac might have misread that because there are a few cards in here oh okay yeah. that are like that and while this is still a fine include i mean it's still a it's a it's a good include yep it doesn't do what i think he wants it those six to most creatures is going to wipe the board yeah right? that's fine which is not bad yeah okay the glittering stockpile is also good you tap it for a mana it gets a counter and then you can remove a bunch of counters to make a bunch of mana which is good and cursed mirror is sort of a clone which is neat yes Okay, go fast. This is the haste enablers. We've got a swift foot boots, a bitter reunion, which is an enchantment that says when it ETBs, you discard a card. If you do, draw two, and you can go one, sacrifice it. Creatures you control gain haste until end of turn, and there's an anger. If you control a mountain and it's in your graveyard, then creatures you control have haste. Neat. And then there's an emblem of the war mind. This is from Future Sight. Yep. Look at that, hey. Enchant creature you control for red one. Creatures you control have haste. That's a neat card. Yeah, it seems like it's a waste to have to remove that with like a disenchant. Or you just put it on a creature that you never attack with. Well, it's a waste because you don't want to use it with a with a disenchant, but it's also a bonus if they get you with a swords or a path. Yeah, I suppose which so, is yeah. Sucky. That's yeah. why it doesn't cost three. Right? It costs more than one because it only impacts you. It costs less than three because it's easy to kill. 
Yes, I suppose. This was a perfectly fine and balanced magic card. There, you there go. we go. There you go. Just like what's the just like the Great Henge. There we go. Okay, we got one tutor because everybody's allowed one in Gamble. You find a card, then discard a card at random after you search. Then we've got protection. Yeah. Now, I think in here we could, I think that Mac might have went quick through this one too. We had a Tybalt's Trickery, a Red Elemental Blast, a Pyroblast, a Reflecting Swat, and a Champion's Helm. Okay. I think that instead of using the Pyroblast and Red Blast, because those are pretty meta cards unless you're playing some like higher end stuff, there's probably better stuff you could put in there, like a Chaos Warp to get rid of things that give their opponent their themselves shroud or make it hard to kill their shit. Mm -hmm. Or you could include the other red counter spells like um, Wild Ricochet or Chef's Kiss Ooh. or other things like that. Here's here's one. Thunderclap. <laughs> you may <laughs> sacrifice a mountain and pay zero instead of paying its casting cost. Like that. It deals three to target creature. It's all right. If we're dealing damage, and if we maybe have damage doublers in a deck like this, mm -hmm. Thunderclap becomes better because it might deal six for free. Pretty good. Doesn't deal to players, but if we're playing Thunderclap, we could play Lightning Bolt too, and and have it in this section, right, as sure. a removal yep. or or a protection, or it could be categorized like in the burn to your face to make big damage section. So long as it burns your face. Yes. That's important. What else do we got? Talk about drawing cards. Let's talk sure. about that. Yep. Those are no, we're talking a bunch of red stuff, so you know kind of what these are. So we're gonna start with Virtue of Courage. Virtue of Courage. This is new from Eldraine, and it's got an adventure called uh M Embreath Blaze. Yep. Sure. It's an instant adventure for red one. Embreath Blaze deals two damage to any target. So that would be a minimum of four with your commander out, probably more later in the game. Yes, that's good. And then we can cast it for red, red, three. Whenever a source you control would deal non-combat damage to an opponent, you may exile that many cards from the top of your library. You may play those cards this turn. That's pretty good. That's like a draw 10. Yes. Draw 10, play one land from them, and then cast like... All of your cheap burn spells. Wait until you see them. Like, you're yeah. just going to cast them all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> precisely. <laughs> Unexpected Windfall, Thrill of Possibility, Seize the Spoils, Pirate's Pillage, Big Score, are all some variation of pay some mana, discard some cards, draw some cards. Yes. These, these get much better when you can double them to make all your mana back because they give you treasure, right? Yes. But if you can't double them, then that's fine. They're also good. They're, I mean, they're, they're the red's equivalent of draw two, lose two in black. Yes. Except they cost four instead of two because you don't lose life. You get treasure instead. Exactly. Okay. And then the last card in that section is Tavern Brawler. It's an enchantment background for red two. It gives your commander creatures at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library this creature gets plus x plus o until end of turn where x is that card's mana value you may play the card this turn Ooh. so it draws you a card and it might make your cards do more damage because it makes your guy bigger oh yeah and if we like if we flip over like a man i'm looking at the biggest card in the deck five lots of fours and threes and twos and ones frick so on average like what's our average cmc here let's see average Three or four? Average CMC, 303. So on average, we're going to flip over a three drop yep. or a land with Tavern Brawler. So our commander is going to become a seven. Yeah. Then Lightning Bolt does seven. seven. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's, let's hit him with some more science. People love when we hit him with science. Oh, yes. Seven, and this is true, is a bigger number than three. Yes. Yes. And when it comes to doing damages or having money, bigger is always better. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. There are certain industries that you can find online. Bigger, also better. Yes. Yes. Cupcakes. Yes. But at a certain point, they become cake. Oh, yeah. They're not cups anymore. I wonder when that is. Aaron McNutt would know that. When We're they don't fit in a show. cup. Well, you Then they a, just become cake. Get a bigger cup. Try harder, damn it, Jesus. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, so we're going to make our dude big. Let's talk about how we make him big. Sure. And one of the ways that red can make creatures big is by having them breathe fire. Ooh. So we have a bunch of enchantments here that allow us to do that. So fire breathing is red, and th this creature gets plus one, plus oh. 
Just yes. for one red equals probably one extra damage. But you have to remember, too, that O'Hare can attack. Yeah. So if we can pump 10 and make them 14 and, and, and hit somebody two times, they're going to die that way. Yeah, which is cool. And the other people we can focus on burning. Yes. So oh, don't don't discount that because I think this guy's actually going to attack because we've got lots of red removal to put in front of him. Yes. Okay. So we got Shiv's Embrace. Shiv's Embrace. Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus two, and has flying. Uh-huh. Yeah. What I just said. Plus he's got fire breathing. If that was included in today, it would probably turn the creature into a dragon as well. Gitu fire breathing. It's got flash. Enchanted creature has fire breathing, and you can return it to its owner's hand. We have one. Get this. Fire breathing. Oh, enchanted creature has red. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus oh until end of turn. That, fire. Would, that would be fire breathing. <laughs> fire mantle. Oh, three guesses. Oh. Fire breathing. And when it uh, is put into the graveyard from play... You put it back into your hand. Th this is from the same cycle as... Rancor. Rancor, yep. Dragon Mantle. Uh, fire Breathing and Draw Card. Dragon Breath. Uh, oh, I like this one. This is Haste, Fire Breathing, and when you play a 6-drop, you get this back onto the battlefield, enchanting the... Um, the six drop creature that you just cast. That's a cool one. I this like is that so too. good when your commander costs six. That feels so bad sometimes when you have to recast your six drop commander. Yeah. But this gets it right back into play. Frickin' haste. I like it because it's a pig that breathes fire in the pig. Yes, I bet you T. Coates likes this one. Crown of Flames. F uh, fire breathing and you can return this to its owner's hand for red. And Captive Flame is the last one. F uh, fire breathing as well. Yes, and it's that one's not an enchantment on a creature. That's just an enchantment. Oh, so this so, gets anybody. Yeah, so that's neat. So you can fire breathe however you want, which is neat. Oh, like right. if I'm attacking you, Mac can fire breathe my guys. Yes. Oh, I like that. That's a good one. I, I like, like that, that one. one. Okay, like so we've got all these instances of having to pay mana to fire breathe. Mm -hmm. Let's find out how we're going to make some big mana here. Okay. Ooh, okay. this is the fun part. Do we start with Treasonous Ogre? Yes, we do. We have a treasonous ogre. Oh, yeah. He That's got one. dethroned, so when he attacks the player with the most life, he gets a plus one, plus one counter or something. Yep. Who gives a crap about that? Yeah, right? Nobody plays treasonous ogre for that. They play it for the two power that yep. you can find with Imperial Recruiter. Yep. And also, pay three life, make a red mana. It's, it's pretty okay. I will rephrase that statement. Pay 30 life, make yep. 10 mana. Yes. Ooh, that's good. That's much that's better. That's good. Yes. <laughs> Rousing Refrain. Ooh, you like this one, don't you? I do. Give it a read. It is a sorcery for red, red three. You get a red for each card in target opponent's hand. And then you don't lose mana's phases and whatever the f*** ends. Yeah, yeah, you just keep it. And once it's done its thing, you exile it with three suspend or time counters on it, yep. and then it gets suspend. So there three turns later, you do it again. I like this card. This is just like a re- occurring ritual every three turns. Yeah, That's I like fine. that lot. That's really cool. How many times do you actually get it, though? Do you get it because you cast it for five or you suspend it on turn two and then you get it on turn five? Yep. Do you get it again on turn eight? Like, Is, the, is this deck going to go that long? This deck might not, but if you suspend it on turn two, on turn five, you're set up to probably win. Ooh, that's pretty good. And if you play it on turn five, if you happen to like run out of gas and you just need some more mana to pump into something, like a card we're going to suggest later, this could get you there. Oh, yeah. I like this with your suggestion coming up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Path of the Pyromancer. This is a cool card. P of the P. P of the PP. Okay. Yep. Discard all cards in your hand. Ooh, I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs> Discard all cards in your hand. Add red for each card discarded this way. Then draw that many cards plus one. Yes. Oh, man, this card already fucks. Yeah. And then it has some uh, plane chase text on Starting it Starting well. with you. Oh, yeah, then it's got some votes, planes walk stuff. Yeah, yeah who cares I mean, about that? We, we just care about wheeling and getting seven mana. Yeah. Now let's make fucking mana. Okay. Neheb the Eternal. At the beginning of your post-combat main phase, add red for each one life <clears throat> your opponents have lost this turn. Oh, my God. So if oh. we... If we if we do like oh. double O'Hare's tough or power or or pump them in some way, yeah. So let's give them seven. Let's do that, yeah. Then we do like flame rift for two, yeah. Right, flame rift deals four damage each player, yeah. It's actually going to deal like twenty one damage, yeah. Neheb's going to make twenty one mana, yeah. Oh baby, oh man, and oh. then yeah, and then you then you probably win. Then you just 
Just just win. Yeah. Then yeah. you earthquake for 21. Well, no, then you, you, you fire breathe your guy. Then you earthquake for one. You could Except also it's do for that. 21. Yeah. You could earth breathe. Yeah, yeah. You, you fire breathe your guy all up and then you earthquake for one. Yeah. Or earthquake for 21. Either way, you're dealing 21. Either way, you're probably going to win. Yes. Mana geyser, of course. Of course. You get a mana for each tapped land your opponents control. Koth of the hammer. Koth of the Koth. His plus one is you make a mountain into a 4-4. Four, four. Sure. His minus two is add red for each mountain you control. There that's a That's a mana doubler. Yep. Hey? Yep. And you can only do that once, though, hey? They knew. They knew oh, yeah. if they gave him four toughness, Ooh. you could mana double twice if you could protect him. Yep. That's freaking good. Yeah. Or you could minus him and you get an emblem with each mountain you control it deals uh, tap one damage to target creature or player. Alas, mountains, not red. Don't do a million. Yes, yes, yes. That's sucky. We have a Jessica's Will, as you would expect. Yep. Uh, mana for each card in target opponent's hand. Exile the top three cards of your library. You can play them this turn. If you have your commander, which you probably will, you can do both. We have a Gauntlet of Power and a Caged Sun. Doubles all of your red mana production and gives all reds plus one, plus one. No Gauntlet of Might? Oh, I have a Collector's Edition one. Doesn't count. Oh. Yeah, black bordered or well, I guess collector's edition. Or, yeah, they got square corners though. Yeah, round round black border or f- off or bust. Yeah, yeah, get it out of here, burn it in the fire. That's right. And the last, I really like this with all the fire breathing cards. Yes, I really like it. Braid of fire. Yes, yes, with all the fire breathing cards. Braid of fire breathing is what this is called. Ooh. Yep. Uh, cumulative upkeep enchantment. Uh, it does nothing but cumulative upkeep. Add one red to your mana pool. No. Kids, the reason this card exists <laughs> is because back in the day, if you couldn't spend your mana, it dealt damage to you. Yes. So this is one of two or three red cards that became obscene when they removed mana burn from the game. Yep. So now there's just no downside to playing this. Yep. You just get mana every turn, you fire breathe your dude, and then you just wreck somebody's whole ass. E- that is what you do. Yes. Let's start with the ass wreck. Let's start wrecking some ass, should we? Yes. Okay, let's look at these cannons. Let's see what this is about. The 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 section on the deck list called cannons. Mm-hmm. This is one of the instances of what you were talking about. Yep. We braid a fire. Let's say it's turn... Okay, Braid of Fire on two. Yep. By the time we get to turn four or five, when with an O'Hare Axonel out and one of these cards out, yep. Braid of Fire will give us three or three four. or four. So if we fire breathe and make him a a six, uh, no, a seven or an eight. Mm-hmm. Let's pretend he's a seven. Sure, sure, because that seems a seven. that seems like a, a very medium case scenario. Yep, seven, seven. Okay, first one is. Volshock Sorcerer. Yep. 1-1 one, one for red, red, 1. Haste, which is important with these. Yes. Taps to deal 1 damage to target creature or player. Cool. This would tap to deal 7. Yes. Ooh. Just real quick. Just a real quick 7. Yep. Because it got quick, haste. A quick 7. <laughs> Personal favorite of your boys, Goblin Sharpshooter. Taps to deal 1 damage to target creature or player. Yes. This would tap to deal 7. And when a creature dies, you untap it. So this not only kills all the one drops on the battlefield, yep. it also deals seven to your opponent <laughs> after all of their one drops are dead. Yes. Cool. S- that's fine. Okay. Cunning Spark Mage. Cunning is Spark Mage. Yep. Taps to deal one damage to our creature or player. Neat. Arcane Teachings. Enchanted creature has plus two, plus two, and has... This creature deals one damage to a creature or player. So in our current example, we're going to just turn him into a seven. Yes. If we enchant him with this, now he's a nine, and you can tap him to nine someone. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. Probably I would still want to enchant this on a different creature so I can seven somebody with my commander and then seven them again with this. Oh, uh, yeah, that's good I would I would maybe want to do that because that is more damage to at least one person. Yeah. Me, me, me. Or... Seven somebody else who I'm not trying to kill with commander damage. Also, because if he's a seven, I just hit three times. Yeah. Or, or if he's even bigger, like he's going to be. <laughs> when it comes to commander damage, seven and nine are virtually the same number. Yes, we we need to get to eleven. So let's see if we, maybe we can up uh, up the ante from seven to eleven. We might, but first we have to talk about catapults. 
Ooh. See, cannons, you shoot like at that guy over there, right? Yes. Catapults, you just load up with just a bunch of gravel and shit and just lob it out there and see what lob happens. Lob it out there and hopefully it's going to land on someone's head. Exactly. Okay. We're going to start with unruly catapult. This is literally a catapult. Yes. You tap it to deal one damage to <clears throat> each opponent. Yes. Also, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, like, I don't know, maybe once per turn. Yep. Freaking untap it. Oh. <laughs> okay, tap it. Take seven. Lightning bolt. Take seven. Unruly catapult. Take seven. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. dead. <laughs> Good Cor- for you, correct. loser. <laughs> Fantastic. Thermo alchemist. Ah. Uh, same thing. Each opponent cast an instant or sorcery, yep. untap them. Yep, except it has defender. F- f- don't Who care. Cares? <laughs> Who gives a <laughs> shit? Lobber crew. Same thing? Yeah. <laughs> sort of. You yes. have to cast a multicolored spell to untap the lobber crew. Yeah, we don't have that in and, this deck. And we can't do that, but, but it's the same. Yes. Lightning rig crew. If I were to say this does the same thing... Would you believe me? I I mean, yes. One damage, each opponent. This one is cast a pirate to untap it. Yes. Now, I haven't been expressly paying attention to pirates, but... I don't think there are any yet. Well, if we put a dockside extortionist in this deck, we wouldn't be wrong, and also we could maybe yeah. untap our lightning rig crew with it. <laughs> no, guys, don't worry. It's just here for the synergy with my lightning rig crew. <laughs> <laughs> said nobody except Mac ever. Can you imagine? Oh, yeah, it just combos with my lightning ring group. Nobody even knows what that card does. And we got a blister split gremlin. Oh, so close to being a... I was going to say goblin, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, one damage each opponent when you cast a non-creature spell. Untap it. There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's lots that's, of good. That's That's practically the whole deck. There's not very many creatures in the deck. Hey, no, nah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's, hang on. There's still some stuff though. There's still stuff in here. There there's, are. Well, I guess there's 14 creatures, and we're gonna get to them and some other stuff in a second. We're gonna play some auras of rage first. Sure. Let's do some auras you of know, rage. You know what though? This is this is starting to bleed into how we're gonna make O'Hare action a little bit bigger. Yes. Okay. So yes. let's let's re- read this first one. Because seven. You're not gonna kill somebody by doing fucking seven. No. I want to kill them by doing a thousand. So let's yes. do a thousand with. Thunderous might. Thunderous thighs. <laughs> okay, this is, an, this is an aura for red one. Enchant creature. Uh, whenever enchanted creature attacks, it gets plus X plus O until end of turn where X is your devotion to red. So if you equip, it will just use the commander as a as the, the thing here, which yeah. is what you want to do. When you attack, it'll get minimum three. So it'll be a seven. Exactly. So if it's a seven already, it's going to be ten. Correct. Ooh. And then your lightning rig crew taps for 10. Unruly catapult taps to do 10 to all three opponents. Then Neheb gives you 30 mana. Just wait a second. If it has fire breathing, that means we have a fire breather enchantment, which gives us a minimum of one more, so he'd be 11. Yes. He'd be 11, so he attacks for 11 now. Remember, 11's the number. Yeah. It, it, It reduces our clock to two hits, and then your unruly catapult deals 11. Yeah. And then you cast a Neheb. Yeah. And he gives gives you thirty. Yeah. Uh, no, thirty three. Then you fire breathe your guy to the fucking max. Cast an cast anything to draw a card. Untap your unruly catapult. Tap it. Do forty. <laughs> Ball game. <laughs> oh man, that's fantastic. Right. Okay. Storm Herald is next. Storm Herald. Ah. Uh, I, there's a lot of words. Yeah, on I don't this remember card. this one. This is a three-two human shaman haste for two or for three. When it enters the battlefield, return any number of cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. Aura cards. Aura cards. Yeah, sorry. Exile those auras at the beginning of the end. The next end step, if there would be aura, blah, 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 leave the battlefield. They get exiled. Sure. So it gives you one turn of extra fire breathing. It gives you one turn of extra fire breathing, but also it gives you arcane teachings, which makes somebody into a pinger too. Yeah. This just seems like a get her back or where you just get it for one turn. Yeah. Which is totally fine. This is in this deck, red eternal witness. Yeah. I'll take it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll too. take it. Granite grip. <laughs> Granite grip. Oh man, what a what a good old card, hey! <laughs> <laughs> From Urza's legacy, 
Enchanted creature gets plus one plus zero oh for each mountain you that, control. Now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Man, I'm gonna pay three mana for that and give my guy frickin' plus ten. Yeah. Well, that's good. So if he was a seven before, now he's seventeen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Downhill charge. Oh, oh man, I love this card. I played it in Zada. You can sacrifice a mountain rather than play downhill charges mana cost. Yeah. So it's free. Pretty good. Okay. Or it costs uh, red two, and it's an instant. Yeah. So if somebody's killing your guys, you can like instant speed do this. Target creature gets plus X plus O until end of turn, where X is the number of mountains you control. Cool. So it's exactly granite grip, but instant speed, and you could cast it for free. Yes. <laughs> and Claws of Valakut. Claws of the V. Is exactly granite grip. Yes. But it costs red, red one instead of red two. Sure. There it is. We'll take it. I guess. Man, he's going to be big. Okay, final section. Man, it feels good to do a classic yeah. deck tech, hey? One more thing before we move on to what the is it? section. It just hit me as I'm I'm looking around here, just looking at stuff. Lightning Rig Crew is in the catapult section. Yes. But when you look at that card, it literally has a cannon on it. <laughs> so max categories need some like, so rethinking? I, I understand that they are doing like things, but there's a cannon right on it. Yes. Come on. Come on. Continue on to the next section. The actual burn section. Yes. Okay. Uh, one of the most expensive cards in the set, it turns out, and you think maybe doesn't deserve a slot. Immediately cut it. Okay, and and you've got some suggestions oh, when yeah. we get to the budget section. Oh, right? yeah, I know the okay. exact card to put okay. in instead of this. This is Terelf God of Fury. Give him a read. Terelf God of Fury is a 5-4 God. Trample, red, red, two. At the beginning, or sorry, whenever a creature an opponent controls is dealt excess non-combat damage, Terelf deals the rest of the damage to a player. Okay. And given that we're doing non-combat stuff on the lower end, Terelf doesn't do that. With the exception of Lava Brink Floodgates, there's nothing here mm. that's going to make him mm. function. And the other side, he turns into, let's just call it Thor, it's Mjolnir, sure. Terelf's hammer. Equipped creature gets red one, unattach it, it deals three damage to any target, return it to its owner's hand. Like, that's... Maybe he plays it for the backside. And equipped creature gets plus three, plus three, as long as it's legendary, which is fine. Can you just play this on the backside? Yep. So there are, you know what you could play instead of that? Black Blade, Reforged. It's going to give you more. Oh, yeah, because right? that just gives you mountains. Yeah. Plus equal to mountains, to, right? To land. Yes. Just to land. You could play Ember Cleave. Oh, <laughs> that auto equips. <laughs> right? Okay, well, we, we've got but, some suggestions yeah. so, after. But, I think that Mac is probably playing this for the backside. Yeah. So if it's here for the backside, there's better equipment. If it's here for the front side, it doesn't make any sense. So don't, is what I'm saying. Like, there's better I don't cards know, man. for this. You're probably right, but I do like giving O'Hare Axanil plus three plus O. Yep. And then unequipping and still having damage left to do. I it's, do like that. It's okay. And it's, in, yeah. decks, in decks that care more about like um, casting Lightning Bolt to kill your creature than attack, uh, Lightning Bolt might deal seven now, yeah. and then Terelf would make that excess damage go to player, sure, and then it, that excess damage going to player would then be bonused by O'Hare, right? Damage doesn't get bonus to creatures, though. Like when you Lightning Bolt oh, a creature, yeah, you're, that's right. you're only oh, three frick. in frick. Okay. So okay, it, so this is a weaker card. Yes. Okay. Then you could have, and you could pay less money and get a better card. Okay, we'll talk about that in the budget section. Here's one. Here's an oldie but a goodie. Here's a cool one. I used to play this card in Legacy. Pyrokinesis. This is from the same cycle from Alliances in 1996 yeah. or 7 that Force of Will is from. Red Force of Will? Yes. Oh, baby. Yeah, okay, so you can exile a red card from your hand rather than pay... Pyrokinesis's cost. Okay. Just like Force of Will. It deals four damage divided any way you choose among any number of target creatures. So this is why I think maybe Mac might have misread the card. Because uh. it's going to... That's exactly what this card does, and that's all this card does. Hmm. Maybe he pairs it with Terelf. Maybe he's just using it as removal to attack with a fire-breathed up O'Hare Axanel. Maybe, because it Maybe. is free. It is a free card that you can use to yep. get a blocker out of the way. goes alongside my earlier suggestion, Thunderclap, which is very similar. Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Mishra's, let's, let's move on. Mishra's Command. Oh, yeah. This is from Brothers War. Tis. Okay. Red X Sorcery. Mm-hmm. Okay. Choose two. Choose target player. Then uh, they may discard up to X cards. Then they draw a card for each card discarded this way. Sure. Uh, sure. Draw X if you choose us. This spell deals X damage to target creature. Sure. Works good with Terelth. This spell deals X damage to target planeswalker. Yeah. Sure. Target creature gets plus X and gains haste until end of turn. There we go. There it is. There it is. Okay. Uh, so we just dump all the mana into it, and we already have a granite grip on there. Yeah. So this is like granite grip four. Yep. And then we tap our lobber crew or our unruly catapult and deal... 60. That's right. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Impact Resonance. Impact Resonance. Impact Resonance deals X damage uh, divided as you choose among any number of creatures where X is the greatest amount of damage dealt by a source to a permanent or player this turn. So you use your guy to yes. 20 a player. Yes. And you impact resonance for two and you have 20 damage that you can just sparse out to kill your opponent's players to kill your opponent's creatures um do you divide it among any number divide it as you choose yeah yep. so this is like a one-sided wrath yeah. and i don't want to say that you could turn this into another win condition with one very specific card oh we'll talk about him in a minute but we're gonna get there we'll get we're there. gonna get there okay now this, <laughs> <laughs> now this one's i like this card this is a card that I've put in so many decks, so many times. Yep. And then when I have to do the math for how this card works, I immediately cut it because it's ridiculous. Okay. Chandra's Incinerator. Oh, man. Okay. This is a six mana, six, six elemental. This spell costs X less to cast, where X is the amount of non combat damage dealt to your opponents this turn. So it's a six, six for one. Yes. It's a six, six for one. That's fine. Trample. Sure. Yes, it's, it's good. Whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, Chandra's Incinerator deals that much damage to target creature or planeswalker that player controls. So, it's a 6-6 six, six for one, that's fine. Yeah. When we deal damage with O'Hare Axanel, yeah. and he, he deals 10, yep. Chandra's Incinerator is going to deal 10 to a creature. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's where it stops, but if you play it with Teralf... Oh, you play it with Terrell. Now you've done 10 damage to their 1-1s, one, so then you do 9 damage to their face, so you do 9 damage to their 2-2, two, two, and then you do 7 to their face, <laughs> and then you do 7 damage, <laughs> right? Yes. It's, it's a lot, and it's freaking cool, and I mean, I that's so good. Man, I like I've seen a few reasons to keep Terrell in here. <laughs> I don't know. This might just come down to difference in style, flavor, taste, opinion. Oh, but once I tell you the card that we're going to replace him with, there okay. will be no... Okay. There will be no... Last one. This card got expensive for a while. This is Brotherhood's End. Er. A sorcery for Red Red 1. Choose one. Brotherhood's End deals three damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Neat. That's fine. Or... Destroy all artifacts with mana value three or less. That's pretty good. That's a good card. That's just, a cool that card's card. just good. That's a neat card. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, and good with Terrell if they got like lots of tokens and stuff, right? Yep. 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 I'll take that. Yep. Not too bad. Not too bad. Pretty good. That's the whole deck. That is the deck. Now, moving along, this is classic deck tech. I like yeah. these. Okay. Strengths and weaknesses. Strengths and weaknesses. I'm sure that we can come up with lots of strengths. Well, we've, yeah, we've talked. This you said it off the air. Well, I'll, I'm going to steal what you said sure. and just say it. Sure. This deck is going to be one of the most aggressive, fast swinging, big damage decks in our format for ages to come. Yes, there is going to be a a combination of cards that people find again, spice to taste a little bit, like we just talked about. Yep. There's going to be a s- slice of about 65 or maybe 80 cards that go in this deck, yep. depending on your meta and your competition or your tunedness level, yep. that are just going to be the deck. Yep. And it's going to hit harder than Terelfs and harder than um, Torbrand Thane of Redfell, and it's yep. going to hit harder than all the other mono-red burn decks that you're already playing. Yep. You're going to double this guy's power, double this guy's power, then you're going to cast something that deals damage to everybody, and then you're going to Chandra's Ignition, and all that's going to happen before turn five. And the game's going to be over. Yes. Because you just toasted them. Yes. Like, definitively. It's not like you eked it out and had to do really intricate math to make sure you targeted your stuff. It's going to be like, no, I'm going to 40 you 
oh, you still have one left, I'm going to 40 you again. Yep. And that's just how it's going to go. Yep, yep, yep. So I put so much aggro, and I, I posed a question, is this the most aggro commander of all time? You don't need to answer that now, but it's it's in the conversation to talk yes. about it. It is certainly in the conversation to talk about it. And, it, it's, and there's no way to spin this one either. Yeah. Like, you know, just like with Terralf, you know what this card's going to do. You know what this deck does. And if you don't keep an opener that can deal with it or draw into something frickin' quick... It's going to beat you. You're going to die. Yes. Because there's no... There's no... There's enough redundancy in the types of effects that this... This is another strength for, for, for Joe to put on the screen. And redundancy in effects that do what it's trying to do. Yeah. There's lots of different granite grips. There's lots of different burn spells. There's lots of different power doublers. Yep. And frick, they're all instant speed. Yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then there's like flings. Yeah. If, if, if for whatever reason, somebody was at like, oh, I'm at actually, I'm at 48. Oh, okay. So now you're at eight. Everybody else is dead. I'm just going to fling. Yeah. And you're going to die anyways. Exactly. Right? <laughs> yes. And uh, there's just so much redundancy. I think that might even be the thumbnail, right? Is like most aggro commander of all time. Like something yeah. like that, because I really think it is. I think it could. And if it's not, it's in the conversation for sure. Yeah. Something we highlighted at the start of the show, multiple build paths. Yep. Multiple styles, right? You could do creatures, you could do spell slinger, you could do a combination of both, like Mac did. Storm? You could do storm if oh, you want. Oh man, because it could copy in each into in I can't even say it. Yeah, grape shot is real good. It copies in this deck. each individual instance of grape shot. Yes. So if you chain spells together like I do in Zada, where I'm just yep. trying to rip through and draw my whole deck. Yep. If you could copy and twin cast like your big scores and your 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 treasure making things yep. alongside like sacrificing goblins for mana and treasonous ogre. Yep. And then eventually you just hit frickin' grape shot. Oh. Yeah. And you don't have to storm that many. Like let's say your guy's a seven. That's what? Seven, fourteen, twenty one, twenty eight, thirty four six. The storm number is for six. six is not hard. Nope. That's freaking awesome. And Multiple the build paths. Yes, and the more of those spells that make your guy bigger makes the storm count go down a fair bit. Yes. Like, that's yeah. that's good, man. That's oh, yeah. So moving over to the weaknesses, because yes. every deck has weaknesses. Yes, it does. Absolute fucking lightning rod. Yes. The removal can and will be pointed directly at O'Hare Axonel. All the time. Every For, single piece. Forever. Yes. It will. Ne that, that You have to stick him and then when? wait for somebody <laughs> to try and remove him and then respond to the removal and hope that nobody has any more removal. Yes. That's how you play this deck. <laughs> yeah. I play O'Hare Axonel. Then you wait for somebody to go path and then you go, lightning bolt, shock, incinerate, and try and win. <laughs> yeah. Like that's the only way to do it. <laughs> And then hope somebody else doesn't go, oh, hang on, I'm going to respond to that path. Ah, ah, fuck. Right? Yeah, man, you know what, though? I uh, to, to spin that negative into a positive, I love the high risk, high reward. Yeah. I know you do, too. I sure do. If I don't win, I'm going to lose. Yes. Yeah, and right. it's still going to be cataclysmic and fantastic. Yeah, there's going to be a smoking crater somewhere at this table, and it's either going to be me or you. <laughs> and it's awesome. Yes. Right, it's like playing catch with a hand grenade. It's it's super fun. <laughs> is it too one track? Is it too one trick? One I think I think this is one of those decks where the the one it is one trick despite from, multiple build paths from way high up in the air. When you look down on it, this deck does one thing. But if you get into the kind of minutiae and enjoy the ride and the journey of how you get there, that's where you can do lots of different stuff. You can mm. do. All devils, like where the devils die and they they won somebody, mm -hmm. but instead of wanting them, they're gonna tend them. And then you could put like really asshole equipments on the go on the devils. So it was like you can block the devil and or you can take the one from the devil and discard three cards and I'll gain ten life. Or you can block the devil and get blown the fuck up, <laughs> right? <laughs> like there's a kind of deck you could build with this, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a cool, it's a really cool deck, and I like it a lot. Oh man! Okay, uh, I've got one. I've got one more thing here for you. Just, just real quick. Okay, so we say that it could be the most aggro deck of all time. Yes, and it, it's so powerful, and it's all these things. Yeah, as it's configured now. Yeah, with Max list that he submitted to Commander Cookle Podcast four hundred three. Yep. 
total price if you were to go to FusionGamingOnline.com and buy this deck full stop. Okay. 250 bucks. That's Am- American. That's fine. That's fine. That's what you pay for a magic deck if you're going to pimp it out. And he's got like a foil over here accident. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and you know what? He's and- got 35 islands that co- or, or mountains that cost a dollar each because he has like- uh, He's got the, the ones from the, the set. The special ones. All foil from the set. Yep. If we take those out and just pretend that they're free. Yes. Okay. If we cut the mountains and use free ones. Yep. Because that's what we'll do. If we take out the two blasts that seem like medicals, pyro and red elemental. Yep, both of which cost some dollars. Yeah, a few bucks, five, six bucks. If we take out the Jessica's Will, yep. because there are other instances of card draw or mana production that we could get. Yes. That card's $25. We could take out the Deflecting Swat. The Deflecting Twat is the most expensive card in the set or in the deck at 38 Yeah. So if we take out those three cards and play free mountains, we're building this deck. For $140. That's pretty good. That is the the commander, the foil showcase one. As as Max deck is submitted, most expensive card in the deck. That's the only barrier to entry to playing one of the most aggro commanders of all time. Yes. I think that we're going to see this card and this deck more often than we should care to like in about a year from now <laughs> yes and and one of the coolest things about this is you even if you can't do it with all the pump and all the 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 fire breathing and all that stuff which you can because all that stuff is cheap and you've got it somewhere yes somebody you know will give you those cards for no for nothing yes if you hold the door open for them at edh and they'll give you those cards as thank you this deck can be built with just shit yes that you find on the floor and it'll be good because, oh, this does one damage for, or does one mana damage to two things for one mana. This sucks. But now it's doing seven or eight damage for yes. one mana. And yes. it's good. Two and damage divided any way you choose among any number of creatures and or players. Yeah. Fork Bolt is all of a sudden like, oh, fuck, this is pretty good. I can 11 two people yes. with it. Like, that's legit shit. And that's another really powerful thing about commanders like this because they make shitty cards really good. Yeah. So not only is it a really powerful deck, it's a really accessible, powerful deck. Yeah, accessible. I think that's one of my favorite things about it. But I've got something here to ask you. Okay. This, and this is this is important to you. Yes, it is. And I think it will contribute to the embitterment of the deck, Mac as a deck builder, as a human being, and to CCO Nation as a whole. Nay, oh, wow. maybe all of Magic, maybe the entire Magic community. Oh, shit. So if you wanted to cut Terrell. Oh, and if yeah. you wanted to cut pyrokinesis, because oh, those cards, in your estimation, were um, not as good of fits as maybe some of your suggestions. Sure. Let, what two cards would you add to this deck? First of all, I would cut to Ralph, and I would okay. put in an enchantment oh. that I like to call pyrohemia. Ooh, that means blood fire. Yes. And if you want to, let's say, pay one magic... To make your commander one damage bigger. Yes. Why do that when you could pay one magic to just do one non-combat damage to all of your opponents and all of their creatures? Pyrokinesis is... No, sorry. Pyrohemia is red. Yep. Deal one damage to each creature and each player. Yes. And then O'Hare Axanel says, "Uh uh-uh, four. Yes. Or seven, or ten, or fifteen. But just to players, so he doesn't die. That's right. So pyrohemia doesn't hurt him more, just yep. hurts players more. Yes. So you, if you don't even pump him, you go red, 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 deal three to everything. Yep. Go. On my turn, you go red, 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 deal three to everything. Then I say go. Yep. Fu Jesse goes red, 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 and then Fu Smitty goes red, red, red. Yep. So you've done four and 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 four as long as you have red mana. That's twelve. Per player. Per turn. Per turn. <laughs> so that's one round of the table. Everybody is dead except me. I don't mind that. Pyrohemia, baby. That that needs to be in here. That's a good one. We talked about impact resonance. Because we just did 12 and 12 and 12 and 12 and 12 and 12 and 12. That's 36 when you add it all up together. Yes. Got an instant that says you can deal that much damage to creatures. Creatures. He doesn't even deal more damage to creatures. But you know who uh... does? Because if we added more handsomeness more power and more versatility to this deck by adding a little card that we all know as Brash Taunter! 
this deck would become so much more powerful. Because let's not forget, Ryan, that he himself could deal one non-combat damage to a player if he fights a Manador. <laughs> you can use him as a removal spell yep. and then 10 that Manador's controller. That's pretty good. Because he's Brash Tonder and that's how it works. Can you imagine if you had damage doublers in here? I'm sure we're going to see a a decks with damage doublers in here. Sure. We're going to see decks that have repercussion in here. Yep. Where whenever you do deal damage to a creature, yep. it also deals that much damage to that creature's controller, yep. which would then turn into O'Hare Actionel's power yep. in damage. Yep. Just be careful that you don't kill him. Yep. Because then the whole deck doesn't really work as <laughs> well. <laughs> the deck doesn't go as good. <laughs> Make sure you don't kill yourself in that regard. No it works good at three percussion. What is it? Pyrohemia. Yes. You know what works really, really good with Brash Taunter? Pyrohemia, yes. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. I'm even thinking like with with repercussion, you could play things like Volcanic Fallout and Pyroclasm and things that deal two damage to each creature. Yeah. Then those creatures deal damage equal to their controllers. Yeah. And then that's non-combat damage from a red source. Uh, no, the creature deals that much damage. No, what does repercussion do? Repercussion deals the damage, I believe. Repercussion deals that much damage to that creature's controller, and that would be non... Uh, Non-combat damage, non baby. non D. Yep. So okay. just be careful with that one because you could kill yourself with that one. <laughs> yes. I mean, you probably won't before you kill your opponents in this particular situation, but you could. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, man. So this deck is fucking cool. Yeah. It's got lots of neat stuff in it. I highly recommend if you open an... Oh, what's his name again? O'Hare Action Neil. I would definitely... Look at it harder. Even if you don't like red decks, this might be the one that gets you in. And even if you don't end up liking red the best, which I can't understand why you wouldn't, but if it if it doesn't work, I still think you're going to get a deck that's just cool. Yeah. That's just fun to play, and you're going to find just these janky little cards that you already own that you're going to get to play, and then you're going to be like, man, i got to go buy all this two-cent ja draft chaff. <laughs> But since I don't like Man, draft, like I gotta go I... look at the floor in the LGS. You're like, how am I gonna do that? My floor in the LGS is get swept every night. I can't find this stuff. So then you just go on the internet and head over to FusionGamingOnline.com and you can use special promo code CCO Summer, which is in the show notes below and on the screen on YouTube if you're watching, which it should be. And you're gonna find all the stuff there. You're gonna save some money on it. Very much so. Yeah. Yep, can't uh, can't say enough good things about saving money on money. I'm going to spend. Anyways, I can take some of that money that I saved, head on over to Pile of Bones Brewery, the second best thing out of Regina next to our good friend Kiel and maybe Peter Prokop. If uh, if he's into being cool or not, I don't think he is. But yeah, it's hard to say. Yeah, who knows? It's hard but to say uh, big thanks to Pile of Bones, sponsors of Sidewalk Slam, which you can check out probably this week, but definitely in November sometime, December. We're probably going to plan a Christmas episode. I think we got that set up already. A couple yep. friends and... Uh, you can find that, of course, on the, oh, this is the first time I'm saying it, the Commander Cookout Media Group YouTube page. Can we call it that yet? I don't know. I don't know. I might call, I don't know if I'm going to call it that. It might just be the Commander Cookout YouTube page. Yeah, that's okay. That's how I say it, because I say it fast. Yeah, but you know what? Check out all the new stuff coming up on YouTube over the next couple months. It's going to be a ton of fun. Yeah, lots of stuff coming up, lots of stuff going down, and another deck is going to be coming out that we're going to talk about in another episode of Commander Cookout Podcast. Hit our theme song!